So this is a case of a mesoangular impacted wisdom tooth extraction. If we look closely, the tooth has three roots and it is very closely associated with the inferior alveolar nerve. The tooth is also mesially angulated, so it is causing decay on the front tooth. That's why a decision was made to remove this impacted wisdom tooth. So I usually start off with a highly placed inferior alveolar nerve block. You need to hit bone, aspirate and deposit about 1.5 ml of lignocaine with adrenaline 1 is to 1 lakh. I will take the needle slightly out and uh, give the lingual nerve block and also supplement this with the long buckle nerve block. The incision usually starts from the distobuccal incision. You need to keep it very very buccal otherwise there is chance of damaging the lingual nerve. I also prefer to give a vertical release incision mesially so that the flap can be closed passively after surgery. The blade here I am using is a 15C blade. You need to give a good crevicular incision to, so that everything separates well. I usually prefer using a gauze here with the periosteal to reflect a full mucoperiosteal flap. A clean dissection is very important so that you have a bloodless field during surgery. This step is important where I slightly release the lingual flap and give the retractor to my assistant. This fully protects the lingual nerve and there is no lingual nerve paresthesia in my surgeries. Here I am using a 702-703 bar uh, for bone guttering around the wisdom tooth. And as I said there were three roots, I am splitting, at least my aim was to split this tooth into two parts and then split the roots into three parts. So uh, here I'm splitting the crown very very carefully and then going slightly deeper to split the roots. Unfortunately because of the three roots only the crown broke off and uh, then I was left with the three roots which I had to split separately. I am using a straight Coupland elevator to slightly mobilize the tooth fragments. Here you can see the mesial crown structure is out and the distal crown structure as well breaks off. After this I retract very carefully and cause small buckle gutters around the three roots and sp I split the roots. It is important at this point to take care of the seven root and not damage it. So here the mesial root is slowly elevated out of the socket. At this point, I am removing the second root, which was placed slightly more lingually. And then the third root, the curved root, which was the distal root. After this, it is important to uh, nicely curate the socket and remove any granulation tissue. And I use a bone file to smoothen any sharp bone pieces and then a betadine solution mixed with water is used to flush out any debris which may be left inside. 
the sutures i'm using is vicryl rapid sutures so the patient does not need to come back to me for stitch removal the number of stitches that i usually use for a routine case are about 3 stitches this is the key stitch it should nicely fit the flap just distal to the 7 to prevent any future food lodgement hope you enjoyed this impacted wisdom tooth surgery video wisdom teeth are not difficult to remove if it is well planned and the incisions are placed in the right creases good luck please subscribe if you like the video thank you